I thought I would make a video in respect to two people today. First person is Mimi Tabaranza. Now, Mimi makes all her videos from her mobile phone. So I thought this video would be nice to make from my mobile phone. And here we are. I'm using the original microphone. I'm not using any stabilization. and I'm just filming from the mobile phone. So we're in my house, the apartment. And everyone can look at everything in this apartment and say, wow, that looks quite expensive. But to tell you the truth, not really. This Macintosh here, I repaired. And right now it's not worth much. This is from 2009. And all the videos that I make, I make on this Mac. This one, I have to repair and fix. So that's the way it is. So that's just that in its entirety. Then the speakers I have, when I bought them eight years ago, I bought them brand new. Now they're probably worth a hundred euros for the pair, but they are Mackie speakers and they're very good. So right now I'm kind of stressed out because people are selling things um, online secondhand, but also they throw away things. And that's my big problem. When something's thrown away, I see its value of when it was made and when it was bought. Anyway, moving on. Here you see some speakers. These are from 1973. They were going to be given away or thrown away, but these are original 1973 Scott speakers. Beautiful. And you know, they still sound good. Uh, this TV. In fact, I should at this point play on the beach. So, this TV was going to be thrown away. Now it's worth 50 euros. Not much money. The amplifier here is a NAD amp from 1983. So we'll turn the volume down a little bit. So everything you see in this apartment is second hand, broken and fixed. But that's the way it is. So my problem is that I'm trying to recycle things, but as you can see, it's become a bit of a problem. So now I've had to try to minimize stuff because I collect everything thinking that it has a purpose. For example, in the future videos, this light I'm gonna build, you'll see. I keep that, no problem. This was a speaker box that I'm gonna customize into a Bluetooth voice recognition amp. That's the next project. Uh, yeah, anyway, as you can see, secondhand speaker, keyboard repaired. In there is the gimbal that I used to film smooth footage, but today, it's not about food, smooth footage. It's about um, natural stuff, natural footage from your phone. So the content's really important. This is the first iMac uh, before these two iMacs. So that's quite important. Um, I love how beautiful the old Mac looks. Uh, can I throw it away? No. This box here, that was kind of freaky, that was kind of freaky, I heard myself, I thought it was a, there was an echo somewhere, <laughs> either way. So I'm still filming on my mobile phone. It's still live footage. I'm not editing anything. Yes, I'm gonna make some mistakes. So at where I was, was is that this was a, an old box that was in a skip. And inside this box, I put an outside lamp um, to make it, I don't know, adaptable, color changing. It's glow worm. So we have a green, right? There you go. And that's it. So everything you see in my apartment might look expensive, but it's all being recycled. Not only to which, I'm filming this on my mobile phone, 
which Mimi Tabaranza has had to do for all of her channel. And I find that inspiring and I find that beautiful because I'm, I have a drone, as you've seen on the other videos. And I have stabilizers and things. So I thought I'd dedicate a natural video to Mimi. There you go. And I'm proud of her for creating her channel um, without much. Uh, it's amazing. Anyway, so now you see the lounge. I think it's a lot better. Um, this is my chili plant garden, really important. Um, this is a previous or actual projects to work on in the future. And this is the new layout of my lounge to give more space. However, you can imagine uh, before this happened, I had a big problem because in my bedroom, I'm supposed to sleep on this bed right here. But, you know, I have uh, equipment, drone, filming stuff, uh, tripods, uh, old DJ decks. Um, yeah, everything to be organized so you can see what it is that you're actually trying to find. And the big problem is, is that in the corner here, I kept all of these boxes of electronics. So in here, in my mind, there was a project. But the problem with that is, is that I don't have the space. And every time something was given, uh, was, was to be thrown away, I kind of kept it. So I kind of had this now a hoarding problem. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, even this bike that I custom build, uh, it's not finished but it's the first carbon fiber and aluminum frame uh, that could be a racing bike or a mountain bike. Um, so it's really hard to throw things away, you know? And the first ever iMac, professional iMac, sorry, not iMac, I'm being crazy. Uh, the first Pro Mac um, for making music on is there. And I have to clear my apartment. This TV, for example, was was probably 3,000 euros when it was new. Now it's worthless, but it has a beautiful sound um, on the back. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but you know, everything you throw away can be reused. You could make this TV into a lighting panel. So there's so many things. The problem is, I fell into the hoarding problem. You know, I fell into the, let's keep everything, let's not waste anything, let's not throw anything away, which is the best thing, but I don't have a warehouse. I just have a very small apartment. Here's an example. I've hidden things away inside cupboards. This is one of the first uh, Mac computers. Um, it's in uh, portrait, but landscape. Um, yeah, you see, uh, you see everything. I mean, it's just so difficult to throw things away. That's fine, no worries. I'm being honest and transparent, but the key thing is I am gonna clear the apartment. I do have to give some things away or throw things away. And in the end, um, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing because in the end, it's about the content that we film, I think. That's a PlayStation 3. I paid like 35 euros for this thing. Um, and that's the other thing. Everything in this apartment is for sale. I have to sell things, get rid of things, uh, make space, and um, yeah, so that's it. Coming on to which, my second uh, person I wanted to talk about in this video is uh, Jay Shah, Inspir Inspiring Stories. And the reason why I want to speak about Jay Shah is because he's got a beautiful video on his website where he's out in the ocean, um, alone, in fact. Um, and to me, that's quite frightening. So this one's for you, Jay Shah, Inspiring Stories. I'm gonna put the links in the video. Um, it's for you because this is a, uh, well, he'll, he'll know what it is. Um, it's a specific radio for being lost at sea with. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. You know, I mean, how, how could somebody throw this stuff away? It's just beautiful. The compass is here. Um, everything is there. It's fully working. 
um, you even have a map of where you're going. So this is uh, a sea bearing radio um, and in amazing condition. It needs cleaning, it needs repairing, um, but that's what I want to do. I don't want to see these things um, disappear because they're beautiful. Um, and that's it really. Um, so this recommendation just here is for Jay Shah. I know he knows this radio. I'm sure um, it's something that he'll understand. Um, and, you know, I know we're supposed to film abandoned buildings, but unfortunately, they're very hard to come by legally to enter and not cause a problem. So I will be filming abandoned buildings. I will be filming things that are broken and repaired. Um, and I know it's kind of like a, a virtual second life of something. A virtual second life. Jay Shah, inspiring stories, you're amazing. And uh, this video at the end is for you.